<laughs> I did get a chance uh, to look inside the craft on only one occasion, and this was important because um, where the reactor sat might have been critical to how it operated, since everything operates without any interconnection, so the placement of components might be critical. So they allowed me to go inside and and look at it. Um, shoot, again, I forgot where the hell I am. So you're going into this craft, and what are you thinking when you're inside of it? Like, what are you seeing? It's um, it's a very ominous feeling because it's there are no at first of all everything is one color it's like a dark pewter color and there are no right angles anywhere it's as if somebody took a, I've said this before somebody took a, a model out of and fashioned it out of wax and then heated it just for a short time so everything melted everything looks like it's fused together everything has a radius of curvature where two uh, items meet. It's uh, it's a really weird looking thing, but um, uh, there was almost nothing other than a small foldable hatchway that um, that looked recognizable. Everything was uh, was really unworldly to pick on it. <laughs> way to describe it. So you you get inside this thing, and it's designed for something that's much smaller than a human being. Yeah, you can't really stand up till you get to the very center of and it. And how tall are you? I'm 5'10". And what do you think this was designed for? I'd say something close to half my height. Wow. So these little three-foot-tallish creatures. Yeah, and it, the the seats were small, too. I mean, obviously, it was made you know for something something small. But there was no... Like there's there's nothing else in there. There's just seats, the reactor, and some of the subcomponents. There's no there's no control panels. There's no bathroom. There's no no decorative uh, components or artwork or anything that you would recognize or trim. I mean, it's just a very bare bones thing. You're not and, seeing any screens. Well, there are archways around it that are part of the superstructure, and that one of the archways can become transparent. When I was in there, there was another group working on one of the archways, and you could call that a screen, more or less. So through that archway, it would, be, it would maintain the solidity, the, the solid whatever metal it was? Yeah. But you could yeah, see through it? Yeah, it just became transparent, yeah. I saw that happen once or twice before I left. Did you ask any questions about what the fuck? No, that there's was? no asking there's questions. There's no asking questions. No. But when you watch something become transparent and you realize it's still there but you can now see through it. Yeah, I mean uh, now that's not that impressive. We do have some liquid crystal materials that are like that. You know, they I've have seen that in bathrooms. smart glass. Yeah, yeah, they call it smart glass. So <laughs> this is just uh and I don't know if the craft is made of you know, an advanced metal or a ceramic. It was cold to the touch. So, um, you know, I would lean and more again, towards a metal. And when you see this craft and you're inside, was there any indication that there was an area that they would use to control it, to pilot it? Was there a pilot seat? Was There s There were three seats. They sat around. Uh, the reactor was in the dead center of it. And then equidistant around there were three seats. So and that's all. The, there was a, a large, you would, they're not consoles. There are large rectangular objects also spaced equidistant around the center. Um, there's nothing on them. There's no buttons. There's no lights. There's and no they controls. look the same color, the same Everything thing. is the same it's color. It's just a different shape. Right. And um, directly underneath them, there's three levels in the craft. Uh, the main level is what we're talking about. Directly under that. Those are the gravity amplifiers, the big rectangular objects. Underneath them are the gravity emitters that look like, for lack of a better word, a trash can hanging on a pipe, three of those. And then the top layer, I, this is just my personal belief, I think that has to do with a, uh, a navigation or their version of a computer uh, with some planar panels, sensor panels around the craft that we would call portholes, but they're not portholes, they're just black areas. And I think that just determines its, you know, position in space. But I was, I, I physically was in the center section and I stuck my torso in the bottom section and hung upside down so I could see how the gravity amplifiers were positioned. 
What is the, the roughly the size of this thing? It's. Uh, I think it. I don't remember from being there, but um, after all this stuff was over, I had uh, John Andrews, a guy from the Testers Model Corporation, and you know we sat down and tried to figure out from what I saw um, and known sizes of things, and we came up with fifty-two feet in diameter. And so it's I think fair, that's fairly a, small. Yeah. So I, th- I think that's a fair. A, a reasonable guess. Now you said there's nine of them, and you got a brief glimpse at the other ones. Mm-hmm. Were they? How were they different? Oh, they looked completely different. One looked like a, I called a Jello mold, and it it looked like a classic Jello mold with the rippled sides to it. One was a very flat disc, um, you know, like a oh I don't know, like a straw hat or something like that. That was sitting up on its edge, and the thin part of it. Had it looked like a projectile had been fired through um, the edge of it. So I don't know if they were attempting to, to see if the metal could be penetrated, or if something, or if that's where the thing came from. Maybe it was shot down. Um, but that was the only one where I saw there was, you know, actual physical damage to it. And that one was roughly the same size. They're all ah, uh, they were kind of too far away to to tell. Hmm. And did. There was several teams that were working on the propulsion system, so there was different pe- teams that were working on these different a- aircrafts? I, I don't, don't know. know. I could only assume. Right. 